Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm super excited because Melody Susie reached out to me wanted me to review some of their new marble ink that they have and I'm excited to show them to you all. So this here is the package that it came in and um, y'all know Madam Glam, they're Vega, Hema free, cruelty free, palm oil free, all that good stuff. It's very clean, nice brand, but this here are the ink collection that they came out with. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Alrighty, so these are all the colors here. I do know that they already, I think they already had like a black and a white marble ink. Um, so that's um, the old packaging that it came in. And then I think they just came out with a new line of different colors. And so these are the other inks that they have here. So I'm going to start out with the white ink. Okay. Um, and that's just what it's called, white ink. So let's take a look here. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And these are like alcohol inks where you just, you know, you take them and they're really good for like marbling and such. So we got a white and then we got a black ink and it's looking a little, um, I don't know, it's looking a little gray. And I think these are ones that you have to like shake up. So I'm just going to go ahead and shake this up, I guess, to get everything mixed up. Okay, so I'm guessing that's how the black looks. It still doesn't look quite black, but let's see. Okay, I mean, it looks a little grayish and not black, but that's all right. We'll see what it looks like on the actual swatch. I'll do the same for the coral ink. At the top, you can see there, it's a really nice light pink. I want to see what it looks like before I open it, before I shake it up. But that's what it looks like before I shake it up. And I'll go ahead and shake it up now. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it's been shaken up. They're given very creamy marble ink. You know, so all right, we'll see how they all perform though. Next, we got here the yellow marble ink. So, this is what it looks like before I mix it up, and then I guess I need to mix it. Let's just make sure here. Yeah, I mean, this looks more like the yellow marble ink, but let's give it a good shake here. It says shake and apply, so let's shake it on out again. This is the yellow ink. Looks like a really pretty like neon collection. Very bright colors here. And last but not least, we have this beautiful purple ink. And again, just gotta mix it really quick, so give it a good shake. Okay. And this here is what the purple is looking like. Very nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and get these swatched out. So for the swatches, I decided to just put them onto a paper towel. So I'm gonna start with the black ink. Okay, it's definitely giving black. And then we will do coral. That's a pretty color. It's interesting, they look like they have a little bit of chalkiness to them, which is, I guess, a good thing. I don't know. I feel like the white in there, I think, makes the color a little bit more opaque. But then again, I don't have a lot of marble ink, so I really don't know. <laughs> uh, the next color here is the yellow. Oh, yeah, very nice. So this is more like a mustard yellow. Purple. Oh, pretty. That's a really pretty purple. Yeah, these colors feel feel very creamy. And then the white one here. You can see the white on here. Okay. I feel like the white's made of a different formula though. And I'll also put a little bit of the white here on the black so you can kind of see. So yeah, this is what all the colors are looking like swatched out. They're really pretty. I like how bright and vibrant they are. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a quick look. I do have here some swatch sticks already ready to go. It is good or better to use a matte background when you're doing um, when you're doing marble inks. And I just want to come up with some random little design here. You also want to use acetone to disperse the inks. So I do have here a 3D brush that I'm going to be using along with a little bit of acetone already ready to go. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the white ink and I'm gonna do that on this black background here. And you just wanna take some of the ink and just randomly put it all over the nail, like so. And this is cool, it just kinda looks like chalk, <laughs> nail, like chalk on a chalkboard. Right, and what you do, you take some acetone, dab a little off. Actually, I don't know that you dab it off. I think you just tap the side of your thing and then you just put it on here and see where it goes. It's not going too far. <laughs> okay, I think you just kind of decide where you want it to go or how you want it to look. Oh, it's really easy to work with. Creates a really nice smoky look there. And what's nice about this too is it's really easy to get that vein look with it as well. See how, how those veins just got in there so quickly? Very nice. I like it. That's about all I'm gonna do to it. That's it, y'all. And you got this really beautiful smoky, smoky look. Wow, nice marbly. I like how the veins were created so easily in here. Very nice. Okay, so that's the white marble ink. Next, I'm going to do the yellow and the pink on a nail. So I'm going to do that on this nail here. And then I'm going to just kind of, like I said, put it on randomly wherever I feel. Oh, that's pretty. It's a really nice ink, I must say. Oh, that's cute. Very cute. And then I'm going to take the acetone here, and again, I'm not even going to dab any off the brush, but I'm just going to tap it into the, uh, yeah, that's so cute, y'all. You just really want to tap, tap, tap into it to kind of get those veins and such. And if it's too much, you just go in and tap where there's too much and remove it. These are really nice and easy to work with, if I do say so myself. I like this. And y'all know I'm a girl, I struggle really bad with marble nails. So having something like this that just makes life a lot easier is awesome. Over here, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that coral color. Like so. Yeah, this is really easy to work with. I love it. Just tap off the excess. All you gotta do is tap again if you wanna get excess off of it. So you tap one, kinda let it disperse, and then tap again to disperse it out. That's cute, okay. So that's the yellow and the coral. And last, I'm gonna do the purple and the black. So I guess I'll go in with a little bit of the black first. So the black isn't like super opaque black, but I, I guess you don't really need it to be either. Kinda like a, like a grayish black. And that purple, I'm just gonna bring all up and through here. Yeah, I like the cons I really like the consistency of these a lot. And you, again, you just take the brush, oops, and you just dab it on there. Wait for it to kind of work its magic, and then you dab it off. Look at that! Again, you just dab a glob on there. You probably dab some down here too. Let it work its magic. You see those veins starting to create? Very nice. Then you just dab off what you don't want to be there. Oh yeah, y'all, this is cool. Probably dab a little bit here. Dab a little bit down here. Look at that, it's so easy to work with. Love it. It's like you have full control over the product, which is really nice. Probably add some right here, get a little smokiness going over here. Bring it up if I wanted to. And I think I'll probably do one more here and one more here. And then you just 
gonna blot away what you don't need. And that is it, y'all. I love it. That was really easy to work with. Wow. Okay. I was. I'm not gonna lie. I was afraid to work with these marble inks just because I wasn't sure how easy or hard it would be. But yeah, these turned out great. I do think the white is my favorite one. I mean, it just looks so nice and flawless. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it a step further, and I'm gonna just add just a little bit of gold glitter to the nails just to add a little more oomph to it. We we'll just add just like some random lines on the nail. Let's see where I want them at. I don't know where I want them at. I think I'll do like maybe like here. Very cute. Okay, I like it. I like it. Get that one too. So then I'll go ahead and cure. I'm gonna do the same thing on this nail. And just find a little place here and there. And just add a little bit of gold to it. Just give it a little, little pop of color, you know. Like so. And we'll get some down here in this gold and this black. Like so. See. Like that. So I'll go ahead and cure. And while that's curing, you can either seal it in with a matte top coat or a glossy top coat. I think for this particular, um, for this nail, I'm going to go ahead and leave it matte. For these other two colors, I do want to add some gloss. So I'm going to go in with a glossy top coat here. Top coat all the nails. Very pretty. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, so this is what all of the nails are looking like swashed out. So again, this here is that yellow and coral nail. Absolutely beautiful. Love how it turned out, especially with that little extra pizzazz of gold. This uh, purple and black, this turned out absolutely gorgeous as well. Yeah, these were really, really easy to work with. And this here is that uh, black with the smoky white that marble white and I just went ahead and matte top coated it. So yeah, I absolutely love how these three nails turned out. And yeah, I am a big fan of these marble inks from Madame Glam. They were so easy to work with and really quick. As you all could see, it was really easy to work with. I was able to make these designs and like, I mean, really fast, honestly. I mean, it didn't take no time to create a really cool effortless marble look. So I definitely think these are well worth it. Um, I love that they came out with these. I think that's awesome. I think originally on their website, they only had the black and white. Um, I do wish they still had them in the big bottles, I will say, but, um, it's nice with these, especially since you have to shake them up to, you know, to see how much you need to shake it. So I guess that's a benefit to this. The difference in the size of bottles is this one is five ML and this one was 15 ml. So I mean, you're literally getting 10 ml more product um than this one but i mean they're inks as well inks you know a little goes a long way so i you know you still get a lot of use out of these but yeah overall highly recommend them super easy to use as you all can see i came up with some really great looks with them um this is making me want to do marble nails i am ready to take my little set off here special thanks to madam glam for sending these over for review they were great to work with and i do also have a discount code with madam glam um so i'm going to leave that here on the screen as well as the description box below in case you guys want to get your hands on them um, but yeah I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye